The story goes that the artistic giant of the Renaissance, Leonardo da Vinci, used to goad the young up-and-coming artist Michelangelo because of his work as a sculptor. Leonardo felt that sculpture was just manual labor, and painting, Leonardo's preferred medium, was a quest for truth. Leonardo claimed to wear his finest clothes while he painted. It probably didn't help that Michelangelo was often seen unkempt and covered in marble dust from his work. When Michelangelo approached a block of marble with his carving tools, he felt he was unleashing the figure trapped within the stone. It's perhaps a bit ironic that Leonardo is known as a master of creating the illusion of three-dimensional form in his painting, when Michelangelo's sculptures actually existed in three dimensions. Some of the oldest art known to us is sculpture. Archaeologists have found figures carved from stone that are over 40,000 years old. Artists from ancient cultures everywhere made sculpture. These artifacts were often used for religious or spiritual purposes. Sculpture represented the ideals, politics, or perceived glory of a particular society. The scale of sculpture could be monumental or intimate. Sculpture was used to decorate public spaces, important buildings, or the homes of the wealthy. Artists used the materials and technologies that are available to them to make sculpture. Stone, wood, metal, or even glass were materials used in classical sculpture. These materials gave the artworks both physical and aesthetic gravitas and meant the artwork would be durable. Sculptures could be in the round, meaning you could see the sculpture from all sides, or in relief, meaning that the sculpture is partially attached to a surface. There were two main processes to making classical sculpture, subtractive or additive. The subtractive process is when a material like stone or wood is removed by carving or etching. An additive process is when a malleable material like clay or metal is modeled or cast into a form. For most of human history, this was how sculpture was made. At the beginning of the 20th century, artists began to look for new ways to express ideas about form. They were looking for ways to convey visions of life that were more abstract than representational. An artist named Pablo Picasso took some ordinary cardboard and constructed an abstract sculpture of a guitar. Both his use of materials and technique were a radical approach to sculpture, which opened a new world of artistic possibility. While sculptors continued to use classical materials, some artists began to use objects that they found rather than made and combine them to make sculpture. A few artists pushed that idea so far that their minimal manipulations of these found objects questioned the very notion of what art was and what art was for. In the 1950s and 60s, found object sculpture was quite popular. As science and industry develop new tools and technologies, sculptors incorporate them into their practice. Motors allowed artists to include movement in their work. Industrial materials such as resins, plastics, and acrylic gave artists the ability to experiment even further with three-dimensional form. Digital tools make it easier for artists to add complexity and precision to their work. Some contemporary sculpture takes a whole team of specialists to make. Artistic explorations into the very nature of art and form have caused the boundaries that have defined classical sculpture to break down. While many artists continue to make individual artworks that we recognize as sculpture, the range of materials and techniques have expanded its definition. British artists Gilbert and George thought that no sculpture could be as complex as their own bodies, so that's what they used. Other artists followed suit. Artists sometimes turn entire rooms or public spaces into interactive three-dimensional artworks. This is known as installation art. 
Contemporary artists freely combine medias in their quest for the most effective way to express their ideas, ignoring the limits of old classifications. There's a certain relationship with materials that many sculptors enjoy. The physical labor that Leonardo disparaged is exactly what attracts some artists to sculpture. While there is far too much interesting sculpture to show in this short video, hopefully you have seen some examples that inspire you to investigate sculpture on your own. No matter where we stray, underneath the arches, I dream my dreams nowhere.